You know, thanks for what you do with your podcast and all the rest. Uh, you're doing a great job. Hope everybody keeps tuning in. You get a lot of good info, a lot of insights, understandings of how to get strong, how to stay strong, how to use your strength. You do a great job, dude. <laughs> you make things better than they are in real life, I think. Yeah. If you don't follow Massonomics, y'all do it. Social media, uh, website, everything. Massonomics. Yeah. Welcome back, everyone, to episode 242 of the Massonomics Podcast. We are the lifting podcast about nothing. My name is Tanner. And my name is Tommy. Tommy, great news. The video worked. We it found did. out at it all. It really did. We didn't know how that was going to play there out. There was no it, major disasters. No. Uh, uh, inside, like behind the curtain look, you typically post the video. Yeah. That was my first time. Right. I posted the video this time. No errors there. No, so. I think all the first commenters were satisfied with. Uh, I, I think so. Yeah, you you did you made it very clear. Like it has to be posted I, between this time and this time, and or I, you will start to get messages. Other, uh, otherwise, you, it's like throwing ourselves to the wolves. The yeah. first <laughs> the first comment racers will get furious if they don't uh, if the video is not posted yep. at the, timely on Sunday. There's rules here. We yeah. don't just wing it. No, they, they'll get upset. Um, this is a special. Black Friday week episode. Mm-hmm. And of course, we've got sponsors for today's show. And first, and uh, a very important one, they're all actually equally important, but this is the first one because they have a special Black Friday deal. Maybe more relevant. Yes, yes. It's very relevant to today. In a time manner. Yeah. Not to say the other ones aren't relevant. No, but they're all in a very timely relevant. fashion. They're all great. Uh, today's show is brought to you by Lifting Large. So, Lifting Large announces their Black Friday weekend sale. The entire website is on sale. At up to 60% off. This includes custom squat suits, bent shirts, and belts from Titan. Orders over $100 get a free lifting large drawstring, drawstring bag. And order orders over $150 get a free lifting large t-shirt. Uh, we actually have further details about uh, their sale and everything that they got going on at Black Friday. And we'll cover that a little more, a you little know, later in the show. shipping deals, things yep. like that. Yep. So we will talk about that more later. Uh, today's... Episode is also brought to you by Spud Inc. The goal of Spud Inc. Straps is to make products that support sports performance and help everyone achieve their training goals. They make products that last forever, won't bust your budget, and most importantly, leave no doubt about success when everything is on the line. Check them out online at spud-inc-straps.com. This episode is also brought to you by Hybrid Performance Method. They're your one-stop shop for all things fitness and online coaching. Whether your goals are training-related, nutrition and body composition-related, or both, Hybrid has a program for you. With dedicated and experienced coaches in each strength and fitness discipline, you can rest assured that you're in the best hands possible. Use our discount code there. It's MASS, M-A-S-S, in all caps, and that'll save you uh, uh, 5% off any training or nutrition memberships. For the entire life of the membership, visit them at hybridperformancemethod.com. And this episode is brought to you by Texas Power Bars. In 1980, Buddy Cap set out on his own to make what he believed was the greatest bar he had ever seen and trained with, and the Texas Power Bar was born. It was strong as a house with the best snarling, and it was maintenance-free. Hundreds of state, national, international, and world powerlifting records have been and continue to be set and broken on the Texas Power Bar. To learn more, visit uh, them at their website. It's texaspowerbars.com. That's our sponsors. And boy, do we have a lot of stuff this week. We do. Um, yeah, we're definitely not going to get through all of it. Or we're no. going to have to do a, a, an abridged version because yeah. there's a lot to cover here, Tanner. So should we just talk about some random stuff first? To, That's what know, I was going to say. Really we have so much stuff. Into this? I did have an interesting Massonomic story oh, from today. I love interesting Massonomic stories. Uh, we do, uh, and may, maybe this isn't well known, but we do offer free citywide shipping if you live in <laughs> Aberdeen, South Dakota. Yep, yep. So I was out making a delivery. Uh-huh. Uh, for a Massonomics order, a couple t-shirts that were ordered. You get in the Massonomics delivery truck. Yep. A lot of people haven't seen yep. that thing. Yeah, so it is free. It's, it doesn't encompass all of Western, Northeast, South Dakota, but uh, at least the Aber- the greater Aberdeen area yeah. is free delivery. And I was out making a delivery, but it wasn't the delivery itself that's the, the story. I was out on delivery going slow. You know how you're looking for, I was looking for the address. I knew yep. I was in the right area. I was just like a block away still, but I was driving slow. I looked over. There's a younger gentleman raking leaves in his yard. And I would say he's in his 20s, had longer hair, like shoulder length hair maybe. And I look and I just kind of glance over. I'm like, oh, that kind of looks like a Masonomic shirt. The Actually, the shirt I'm wearing. It, I, was, I was like, it's the same color as the shirt I'm wearing right now. And, uh, I, and uh, it had white. Red. Yeah, and it had a white print on it. And uh-huh. just like, oh, it just looks like the shirt I'm wearing. And I'm driving slow and I look over. He's in his front yard. I'm driving here. 
in my vehicle and I look over and I'm driving pretty slow and he makes like direct eye contact with him and I realize, oh, that is the shirt I'm wearing. This the that is a Mastonomic shirt. And like as I'm right parallel with him, I, I realize that and he's looking right at me and I I was like stunned that it was a Mastonomic shirt and I didn't know who this was. Oh, you didn't? No, I did don't know who it was still. I thought this was gonna be and then I found out it was Larry. I'm well, like, no, no, know where Larry lives. No, no, and I, I kinda gave like a, a slightly dazed wave because I was like processing <laughs> what trying was to going process on, yeah. who this was, you uh, know? In a, in Aberdeen yeah. where I typically would know everyone that's kind of running around in Mastonomic yeah. shirts. Yeah. And I just kept driving and in my head I was like, I should stop and say hi. <laughs> and it, let me introduce like, myself like there was you. a lot of things going on in my head at the time and <laughs> we should know i was other. thinking like i should stop but then i continued to drive and then i was like well now i've gone too far yeah, i yeah, can't I back can't up just, half yeah, a block can't turn it around right I, it, I, but i wanted to stop and roll down my window and be like oh hey like <laughs> where did you get that yeah, shirt? <laughs> I'd be like, i'm wearing that shirt too uh so then i dropped the package off and i'm like oh if he's still out there i am gonna stop and say what's up and he was gone mm. Well, uh, so I don't know if it was just a mirage. <laughs> yeah, just, just it had been so long yeah. since you'd seen a, a a red OG shirt right, in a while. Right. You just thought you were. So if you are that guy, name yourself. Like we want to know who Show you yourself. are. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm, interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Was, I, I don't. Yeah. It's, it seems like we should know anyone that has mass Well, and it just the it, only the yeah. only X factor is from the days when we do the strongman I know. competition, and people I know. would just buy Mastonomic stuff as support they're at that, this, that wouldn't be normal fans. That's you know? very possible. I, I was trying to do the scenarios in my head or mm-hmm. like there are people in town that buy it that I don't know who they are. Usually I'm like, oh, they must know Tommy or, yeah. you know, something like that. Uh, but usually I know. Yeah. But it was just such a weird, it was a weird, it was like two seconds in time, but it played out like five minutes in my head and then i was like oh no i've, dri- and he's I've just gone thinking, too far God, this guy was driving by looking at me so <laughs> and he really did leads. like look at me close yeah. too so i'm like i feel like there was a weird connection there where he was also wondering what i was doing uh-huh. uh. <laughs> uh and then i was like does he maybe he knows who i am i don't try looking at the misconnections on craigslist to see mm. maybe he wrote about you, you i was this driving guy. by and you just you stared at me so lovingly <laughs> <laughs> whoever you are i, I did wonder <laughs> and i was like he's probably weirded out so i've driven this far now if i stop now he's gonna run inside <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, well that's a good story Dan. yeah yeah that was my story that's my story and i'm sticking <laughs> to it as uh as they say in the song mm-hmm, mm-hmm. um we should we should maybe crack into a cold one right away. Oh, here. I hope it's not the key, maple water. The keyword is cracking into okay. a cold okay. one. Okay, okay. Uh, I am gonna need you to close your eyes okay. though because this is a guess. Oh, where am I? And this is what's in that can. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and grab onto that. Okay. And get ready to blast okay, it. It's a can. Flavor town. You know when you just cut your fingernails and it's actually kind of hard sometimes to get under that tab. Yeah, yeah. That's me right now. Here we go. Smell test. Not getting the smell. Boy. <laughs> getting a taste. It tastes refreshing. Like like not when, maple? No, like in comparison to the maple water. Boy, what the heck? Hmm. What are we getting? <laughs> nothing. <laughs> nothing? Sparkling water. <laughs> N- nothing at all. <laughs> wow. Nothing. I do I feel like that tastes like has uh maybe like <laughs> it's it's just like a plain sparkling water to me. <laughs> okay. Is, Is there more to it than that? Well, Am I way off or I I can't give hints on this game. Mm. It doesn't, it tastes good. Like I, <laughs> I like it, but it has no f- discernible flavor to me. I'm going to open my eyes, but cover the can just because it's starting okay. to feel weird with my eyes well, closed for that long. Are you, do you want to know? Are you, what are you putting in as your flavor then? Nothing? Uh, nothing. <laughs> sparkling. Well, I guess just like pear, like just like sparkling water. You are know? you ready for the unveiling? Yeah, yeah. It is in fact 
a pure oh, LaCroix. Right, right. And I guess I did know that this was a LaCroix flavor. You did flavor. know? I, see, I I've, heard, I've never had it before, okay. but I, someone has said it to okay. me before. I was like, either Tanner's going to be like, huh. I don't know they make this, and I'm going to be so confused because there's no flavor here. Um, It tastes good, though. I like the pure. I would have... Thought it's, that, it's refreshing isn't when it? someone described it to me i'm like Ugh, blah why would i want that i had I, ha- I saw the pure and i'd like i don't run across it often but i saw it i'm like oh i could either trick tanner really hard with this one because he's gonna be like there has to be a flavor here and he'll say lemon or something well, for a second i'm like do i have coronavirus <laughs> I was gonna tell you that was the, <laughs> like you know symptom of coronavirus. i know i'm like do i have coronavirus did i just am i just realizing it at this second <laughs> um oh my god it really has no flavor. There is there no, is no flavor. There's no notes. They're really good at no. uh, really stripping the flavor. Out I'm shocked though. When I heard about this, I thought, ugh, I would not want to even try that one. It's, but I'm shocked at how I think it's pretty good. It's actually refreshing, isn't yeah. it? Uh, I would yeah. use that word to describe it, especially after last. Oh, week. Oh, that's what I was going to say. Especially <laughs> after the disappointment of last week. Mm. Don't buy that stuff. At least not that flavor. I would still give this. For sure, three D three and a half oh, JD Power and Associates. This stores. is the epitome of a three and a half JD Power and Associates. Yeah, it's so nice to be back. Re- refreshing, to the three and a half. refreshing level though. It might be worth more than three and a half flavor. True, you know, it's just middle of the road. Yeah. It's you know, we said piss is zero and the best flavor yeah. is five. Yeah, this, this is really is middle of the road, but very refreshing. It's nice to be back to the three and a half. <laughs> like we after are that, back. That that garbage from last week. Yeah, <laughs> I do love your reaction from it from last week. There, you're like. Uh, like I had to watch it again and fruits. be like, was it as bad as I thought yeah. it was? And yeah, yeah, it was bad. Hmm. So that's good. We can recommend it in case yeah. people were worried. Yeah, that's good. Tanner, on Netflix, as of Oops. either this week or two weeks ago or recently, uh, Chappelle Show is back on there. And I don't oh. know if you're ever a Chappelle Show watcher. But yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. I it I actually forgot until I started watching these again. Um. It was like 2003, so yeah. that was my freshman year of high school. Yeah. I totally remember, I think Chappelle Show was on Wednesday nights. It would be like Chappelle Show and then South Park, or yeah. South Park, then Chappelle yeah, Show. Yeah. And like every Thursday, you'd go back to school like, and oh, talk Chappelle with all Show. your buddies about like yeah. what was on last night. And yeah. it was like just, I forgot how many of, that was the time before memes. You know, memes right. didn't exist. So right. you found funny things and you just say the funny things over and over. Yeah. And just the, quote them repeatedly. Oh, the amount of lines from that show that, my buddies and I just said for the next four years yeah. nonstop. God, so have you show. watched any of the? Uh, I, I got through all the first season, okay. and then uh, I'm I watched the uh, Rick James. I got to the uh, Rick yeah. James episode of the yeah. True Hollywood Stories last night. Uh, I'm on the Prince one now. Okay, but uh, Dave just hosted Saturday Night Saturday Night Live last week. Yep, yep, he did, and he was uh, he had an uh, an appearance on. David Letterman. Oh, my next guest is his oh, show. Oh, I, I I watched that show, but I haven't watched. I saw Chappelle is gonna is on there, but I, I was hoping it for some more funny moments, and there wasn't really okay. hardly any at all. If you're a Dave Chappelle fan, you'll you'll like it, but yeah. uh, don't don't watch that one expecting to really. Also, if you're all. really like a non David Letterman fan, you won't like that show. That no, much no, no, he is, he's very much a part of it. Right, yeah. right, and it can be. Like I kind of like him, but yeah. he's also he's kind of like, annoying. Uh, you're kind of like an old guy being yeah. too goofy, now, right? Like, right, <laughs> or too cutesy with things. Like, yeah, let's just move on to the right. guest a little bit more. Right. But yeah, you do have to be a bit of a. It is David Letterman's show, so right. I guess it does make sense that yeah, I suppose his name is a part title. of it. Yeah, a small part of it. You know, it might be better if they could get him off the show. <laughs> <laughs> I should talk to someone see if they can get him out of there. <laughs> <laughs> We'll talk to our people. In lifting news, Tanner. Well, one thing, Yuri Belkin broke that deadlift record, 981. Yeah. And w- was that at 240? Tw- I don't know if he's 242 or yeah. 220. I'm not sure I'm what he weighed I'm assuming 242 because it's yeah. like he never cuts anymore. But right. uh, that's a big deadlift. Yeah, 980. So they're 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 all, he's going to butt right up against that 1,000 here soon then it looks like. And has that 1,000 ever been done to full power meet? It hasn't, has it? I don't think so. Is it, has Jamal anything, Browner didn't hasn't done that in a meet, has he? No, and I'm just and Kaylor Wollum hasn't done it in a meet. Yeah, Benedict actually, nine eighty one is probably the biggest one in a full meet, isn't it? I would think was that a full meet? Oh, you know what? I don't think it was. I think okay. it was just dead because I didn't see anything okay. else. Right, so it wasn't a full meet. I didn't even think maybe, of it. Yeah. yeah, or maybe it was. I don't even know. I just didn't see anything besides this deadlift. Russia, you know, so hard to keep up on what's oh, going on over there. Tell me about it. You know, with everything going on. With everything going on. Did you see our, our Robert Overs? Yeah, trip? and I actually watched that uh, 
with this transitions into world strongest yeah, man was our, just actually going our on. next our next topic here um i been keeping up all week on martin's channel Brian Shaw's channel and the Stoltman brothers channel, mm -hmm. which, and I would, I really, if you like watching lifting, like the strongman YouTube, the Stoltman brothers channel is good. Those guys are good. Those You've said good. that several times. Yeah. I got it. I got to yeah. check it out. Yeah. Those guys and are they're good. strong too. They're strong Those too. That know. I'm big on the time. I'm on the, the, the Tom train. Yeah. I'm on the, <laughs> I'm on the bandwagon. I, I think those guys are just funny and fun, you know, and like having fun and uh, pretty cool. But yeah. So world's strongest man went down it and go down. our predictions were mostly not right uh yeah pretty much yeah not right and actually the tom funny, stoltman was the only part yeah, of yeah right, we right. both picked tom stoltman to podium you know, looking back so uh alexi novikov won and looking back it was like that was kind of a dumb choice to not even put him on the podium like, well part mm -hmm. of that was my fault because you brought him like what if you listen back to the episode where we talked about it you go like, oh, what about Alexei Novikov? He's been doing pretty well, hasn't he? And I like dismissed it. Did I was you? Like, well, I was like, yeah, but I think he's been, he was kind of got run down. And, like, oh, yeah, was you said, I think he's done like little, 30 events yeah, in the last year. Yeah, he did. And like he was kind of run down, I think, from him. But then, so <laughs> and someone brought this up that because like so much has been canceled, guys like him or Jerry Pritchett and uh, some of these other ones really came out with a strong showing, probably a lot in part because they haven't been doing like, 15 arnold competitions uh, all year round yeah 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 like trying to make like they just have it they came in actually somewhat fresh right right yeah that makes um, sense so i that was mostly my fault because i was like nah not that like what are you doing suggesting alexei novikov like because <laughs> didn't, he, didn't he break like the some uh i think there was something and he's been really competitive like at the arnold and stuff yeah. too yeah yeah, I know he's had some because he did. Did he do like a circus dumbbell record of some kind on those ultimate? I think so. Things? I and, think he did, and I think he also had like not that long ago. Didn't he deadlift like nine eighty for like a set of five or right. something stupid like that? He's still really even. I mean, obviously, it wasn't one of my picks, but he's. I still wouldn't have picked him to win it. I, I know. Guess, you know. I know. I wouldn't have. I wouldn't have expected that he was going to win it. Obviously, we didn't expect that, but <laughs> we have it. On, yeah, we have it on tape. That right. We but yeah, and he's like he's small. I mean, in comparison to what, uh, like your Brian Shaw, yeah, Brian and Shaw, Brian Shaw or anything. I think he got fifth, maybe okay, fifth. Or did, fifth or fourth, maybe one of those two. Um, so <sighs> there, I'm done. I'm never picking Brian Shaw again. <laughs> yeah, you, that was this, it. This was actually have, the year that we, if there was oh, a time for him to, yeah, that, that's why I, he is not ever going to podium. Again. I feel like I'll I quit that. picking him a while yeah. ago because we've had this conversation for like four, yeah. three years that you're like, ah, oh, he's just, I'm, I'm pulling for him on this yep. one. And every year he burns you. And this year it was like, well, there's a lot of guys out. He's always right on the cusp. This could be his year to, nope. to get back on the podium. And it seems like if it's not going to happen this year, then it's not going to happen. Yeah. I'm off of him. He's too, he's, I mean, and no, I'm not still Brian did, Shaw fans. Yeah, right, right, right. It's just, he's not what he used to be. And he's just too slow. Yeah. He's too slow. That's just the fact of it. He's too slow. And he, if you watch it, he kind of makes excuses. Does he? Yeah. <laughs> like on his YouTube and stuff, there seems to be a lot of excuses. Yeah. Anymore. And it like, there is, but I mean, the only excuse he really needs is he's gotten older and he's not, he was when he was 30 years old. Right. Yeah. I mean, like it's just not to his, and, not yeah. to like jab him about it, but that's probably just what, what everyone faces at a certain point in time. How old is he sports. now again? I think he's close to 40. I don't know if he's yeah, 38, 39. That's, or, yeah. That's up there. But I'm off of him. <laughs> I'm not You're doing it again. Officially yeah. done. Yeah. I'm just waiting for I'm next year, Tanner. He's gonna be posting videos of him looking strong. I he's know. Gonna and be I'm, like, oh. gonna be like, I don't I've said this. Yeah. He's just he's moving good. Yeah. He's moving good. Novakov's out along with all these other guys. He's got a <laughs> this chance. Is the year. Yeah, he's got a chance. This to make really the was the year that he could, yeah. but then like they changed an event and some it was funny because I this is to put it in perspective. I watched they 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 swapped out one of the events that they couldn't do. I don't know if it was the truck pull and they put in this something because else is stuff. yeah something like that and on brian's channel he goes oh, in all my years at world's strongest man i've never seen them make a change like this you know because it was like kind of taking out event that maybe he liked or he mm -hmm. didn't end up doing that well on the replacement event never seen anything like this on martin's channel video came out the same day like they wouldn't have been like he didn't know <laughs> yeah, that the, each other said they this. already had to edit right, it and right. like, upload he it. he goes yeah that's just what's 
world's strongest man's like every year. Like just expect that stuff, you know? And I'm like, Oh, I just, I, and I watched them consecutively, like about ready before These are bed. Like the most opposite. Right. Like, just a kind of commentary. You made can me have feel like, oh, I feel like Brian is maybe, you know, he maybe searches for an excuse or two from time to time. Yeah. <laughs> but though it was all, it was looked cool. I'm excited to see the actual, uh, you know, you know I, I had to laugh because it. usually World's Strongest Man is in May, isn't it? Isn't it usually like April or May? I think that's about right. So that's what or, my head remembers. I feel like the last few years yeah, it was there. Yeah. And so I see that and it said uh, they'll have the, uh, it said the, the broadcast will be available in December. And I'm like, oh God, here we go again. And it's like, oh no, wait, Eight December, months away yeah. or whatever. And then I'm like, oh, it's the middle of November already. Yeah, okay. So right. I guess we have to wait a month to get this. Yeah, so which, that's not so bad. Which, yeah, isn't terrible. So no, the setup and a lot of the equipment and the what I did see all seemed to look really cool. Did it? Yeah, I saw quite a few pictures and, like I said, on their YouTube channels. But so Tom got second and third was. Did you? Jeff I mean, did you find? Did you see like hardly anyone's video on Instagram of it? I feel like in years past you could. Well, but they also they had can't crowds really, and stuff. Yeah, they can't really post the yeah. full video. Well, and that's the, what in in years past that you also had people in the crowd right. filming things, which right. which made it a lot easier. Like right. I think Bar Bend would always like post videos yeah. that people have. No, I haven't really seen many yeah. videos of the because that's what events. I was going to say is the big. I, I saw photos, but yeah. outside of that, I haven't seen anything, and that would make sense. No, and on all those guys' YouTube channel, they post like the beginning of the like they start walking with the farmers' handles, or they and then do the first couple logs yeah. and they cut it off. Yeah. But yeah, so we, Jerry no, Pritchett got fourth. Yeah, yeah, there you go, and that yeah. was co- Jerry Pritchett was very close to getting on the podium and. As I was realizing that that was going on, I was really cheering for him. I was mm-hmm. like, I really want him to make a podium, and he just missed it. Sounded like he did really well, but because of that thing, like he's probably not near as run down as he has been in all the previous years. That would make sense, and he has been having a bit. I mean, he has been getting banged up. Like yeah. these, I think, deadlift things he's been having, uh, pulling yep. or semi-tearing a hammy and things yep. like that. Like he, he was getting a little tweaked in uh, some of these events leading up to it. But Novikov first. Carone second, is that- uh, Tom Stoltman second, oh, yeah. and- Stoltman second, JF yeah. Carone third, yeah, Jerry Pritchett fourth, Ryan Shaw fifth. fifth. Um, the future, the future did he- make the finals. He got ninth, uh, and tenth was Graham Hicks, who was hurt in like the first event. So, okay. the future is still a, the future it's still as of this. It's in like, the future, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I did. The see future that, is yeah. not now. But mm. he did in his first ever World's Strongest Man. He made the finals. And how, crazy. how old is he though? I don't think I don't know. Did it say Novikov like, is twenty four? I think. I think yeah, twenty four. Which I, is very young. Oh yeah, for sure. Uh, so maybe if Novikov ends up continuing to improve, he could be a guy to win a whole bunch of times. Some people are complaining that it's not heavy enough. World's Strongest Man isn't heavy enough. And I don't know. I just because some I, I don't think you have to be 400 pounds you know like i think that's what you say when someone wins that doesn't weigh 400 pounds it's not heavy enough yeah i'm like i don't know i'm not sure like we haven't seen i haven't really seen all the events yet but um yeah i, I think it's an um, interesting it twist just, if it doesn't require yeah. someone to weigh 440 pounds. and unless all the events were just speed running events it's yeah like, well, I, I, can't there be a mix like right. does it all have to be just pure static strength everything right right powerlifting already exists yeah you do that right I, th- I think it'll be, once you see the, all the events and stuff, I don't think it'll be too light is what you would say. I, I think it's more interesting if it do- if these guys don't have to, like, do the Eddie Hall thing where they are all can barely breathe. You know, they mm-hmm. almost died to deadlift. Where they seem a little bit more like athletes, actually. Right, right, yeah, yeah right. Yeah, it gives, the, it gives the sport a better look, I think. I too. think it does, too. Seems more accessible and like you want to do it rather than, okay, I guess I just got to deadlift 1,100 pounds if I want to do this thing. Yeah, it did make me, as I followed through the heats and stuff, just how competitive even the heats were, though. You know, it's just like, man, there was like 25 guys that all kind of had a shot of making the finals. Terry Hollins did really well. Did he? He almost made the finals. (laughs) That's pretty crazy. Yeah, yeah. That's a guy that's really been through right. it. Right. And when I saw that, I was like, oh, I really want him. You know, so we yeah. did the interview with him and he was really nice. Oh, and yeah. Really super cool. cool guy. Yeah. Uh, so I was really cheering for him, too. Uh huh. But no luck this year. Maybe next year <laughs> when he's 40 <laughs> yeah. or right. and whatever he is. Actually, Mark Felix competed this uh, year, too. And, and I he's think he's 50. Too. Yeah. Is he really? Yeah. He's 50. Damn. Yeah. He didn't make the finals yeah. either, but still, that's 50. Could you imagine doing a world's strongest man? Even at 40, <laughs> let alone 50, 33, <laughs> yeah. like, uh, an impossible barrier. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. 
Well, so that's World's Strongest Man. That's as we our know extensive it. World's Strongest Man coverage. Yeah. And everything anyone could ever want to know about it. Right. Yeah, the, don't look up anything more than that. That's, that's all <laughs> it's you all right. You actually don't even have to watch it next month when it comes no, out. No, you just heard it we all. We covered here. it all. Right. All right. Are we going to talk about the Lift Hard Live Easy contest results? Yes, we are. Um, we're going to have to go through these a little fast just because we got a lot of we shit also, to get We got a guest still. to get to today. Yeah, so we do got a guest to get through. Um, and it is Black Friday. We got to talk about our own stuff a little bit too, Tanner. Yeah, this, is good. Just, this is going to be a long one, so I just hope everyone's buckled in here. <laughs> like It's going to take a while. Um, Lift Hard Live Easy contest. Some uh, like, like always, you guys don't disappoint. There yeah. was some very funny ones out there. Um, we have a, our, our handy dandy Excel sheet here, Tanner, that you, Gotta so, always have the Excel that you so expertly put together. We have ratings assigned to people. We got names, we got Instagram handles, we got summaries. I mean, we got it what all. they like, were wearing. This is like the IMDB <laughs> yeah. of, of Massonomics <laughs> of, video submissions yes. right here. And, um, general notes, I would say like the top end of these submissions has just gotten so good. The top that, end has really gotten yeah, to the top. Like it's the, really making it tough. Like it makes it even tougher to run the contest because I feel like some of these are so good. It <laughs> discourages people from competing in the contest because I, I it's think like, a little bit because it's like, like, holy crap, well, you just made a movie. Yeah, There's those four guys that are going to put way too much time and effort in like, <laughs> screw it. Mine. I don't have a chance. Like there has to be people yeah, thinking that. Yeah. And and they're not wrong. No, I, I myself would be like, ah. when we have a lot of uh, creativity and tools at our disposal through Mathsonomics, I'd be like, gosh, if I was to make one, I don't know how I would compete with some <laughs> yeah. of these. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so should we talk? Should we run through um, some of the some of the lower? Should, yeah. So we we picked. Yeah, uh, we, we have a grand our list prize here. winner. We have our list here. These aren't necessarily in any order. I'm just saying, not the grand, not the top winners. So right. The. Uh, the uh, the second tier of people and and this this was what was at stake for the grand prize winner which we'll get to and I assume you can see this on our stunning video quality now but uh, some con- controversy there it is not a seventy five dollar Applebee's <laughs> gift card it is in fact three twenty five dollar Applebee's uh, gift cards yeah the math checks out Tanner. so that'll be fun when you go and your bills seventy five dollars and <laughs> they uh, three of those yeah, bad like, boys read them and weep a like, straight God, is this guy that rich he just straight has, flush yeah, he has just <laughs> packs of these things laying around that end here I'll hold it this way so you can't tell how long this tube is or isn't <laughs> This here hey, Texas yeah. power bar, this Texas power bar that I'm casually that holding you can just up with gingerly hold in your yeah. fingers. <laughs> in, that's how my grip. I've really been working the grip strength. I can just hold this for the people listening. Well, Tanner has a Texas power bar tube right here yeah. that he's just holding so easily. So that's what the grand prize winner has at stake. But with these contests, we like to reward a bunch of people because a bunch of people put a lot of time in. Unfortunately, we don't get to re- reward everyone because we get a lot of submissions. And we just can't give away that much stuff. We cannot. Even we're not that rich, Tanner. Right. But so who are we giving? Are we going to save the grand prize winner for last? Though? Yeah, yeah. Okay. We're going to save best for last okay. year. So um, we're going to run through a few of these pretty quick. But uh, starting off the list, we have uh, at Waffle Iron Gym, a longtime Massonomic supporter. Yes. And uh, we, do we want to do real names too or are we just doing Instagram handles? Maybe just Instagram handles for these ones. Sure. Big, we'll say even say Big Steven. Yeah, too. but there you go. Big yeah. Steven. Yep. Um, and what it, he had uh, babies taking over the world with the lift shorts mm-hmm. was his cliff was the cliff notes on his. <laughs> yep. Uh, after him, we had uh, at. So this he's a winner. Yes, he is a winner. Yes. So he's a winner. Uh, these people get, I don't know, a shirt. Yeah. Uh, they'll have some we'll get stuff a, coming their way. I'll, I'll get we'll get a hold of you and we'll get you something. Yep. Yep. Uh, next, we have at guitar Andrew 88 and. Uh, he had a pretty bang in Big Andrew. Yeah, Big Andrew. He had a pretty yeah. bang in montage to uh, uh, working for the weekend. <laughs> yeah, and he, he uh, shotguns the Lacroix. He really got ginger with stabbing the Lacroix with like what looked like a knife. Where I'm like, gosh, <laughs> hope you don't get your hand with that. Yeah. Uh, and then he chews off an apple pie at the end. Good one. Had a few. Did a Jefferson deadlift. <laughs> the only lift that matters. Yeah. Uh, then we had Jordan. How do you say Jordan's last name? I don't. Funny thing. How I'll tell you how I always say his name in my head. You know how you Kau- do that? Kauki? With, I say uh, that's probably more right. For some reason in my head, I always say like Kuki. 
Uh, but that's probably, probably not right. Yeah. But he's a longtime follower for, too. He actually trained that Jimmy is tra- uh, actually is Tanner. In, uh, I do like how we have people's handles and then names. And for everyone, you have their first and last name. But for his handle, it says Jordan. Oh. And then for the name, you just put <laughs> Jordan. Like, yeah. like mm, we don't know his last yeah, name. Yeah. I'm there assuming that's, yeah, that's his last name. <laughs> Big Jordan. Yeah. And they did the, that was out of uh, the same gym that Travis Ortmeyer trains at. Oh, it is? Yeah. Because oh, okay. uh, I was half expecting Travis to pop out at the very end. <laughs> yeah. And that was the medley with the three different of them. They're, they're doing like the deadlift, the overhead press. Yep. And, yep. Yep. Uh, what well, was it? was like a Top Gun song or something. Uh, yeah. What, what is that song now? I can't even I remember the song. song. We, yeah. we literally just watched it before so, we started. So, someone said, uh, I can't wait for the soundtrack of the Lift Hard Live Easy contest. Ah, yeah. Yeah, would, like, there would be a good soundtrack that, that here. That would be a banger. Yeah. yeah. Might have to make that. Yeah. Um, so, Jordan, you win a shirt. What what gym is that again? I can't remember. Or where's Travis out of? Texas. It is Texas. I don't know. Oh, no, he's wait. Not, oh, no, he's like, Nevada. is he in Nevada? Yeah. Is, yeah. Yeah, he's in Nevada. We just talked to so many people right. and say so many things to him. I can't remember right. all this stuff. Jordan, you get a shirt. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, I uh, forgot. Andrew, you got a shirt. Steven, you get a shirt. Next up, Get Fit Gen 24. You get a shirt too. Yes. And uh, hers, Throwaway Culture Films. That was <laughs> our oh, yeah. for Cool Beans Studios. Was yeah, that yeah, yes, yes. Um, she even mixed in the, uh, the, the old skateboarding right away at the end, the dog face. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's that's the, that's yeah. the cran. He drinks the cranberry yeah, juice. Yeah, yeah. I had to research. I didn't know what that was. I like, mean, but you, did you know the like? Had you seen the video? No, before? no, really? I've never seen that before. Isn't it a TikTok thing? Oh, but it's been all over everything. Okay, no, I've never seen that Seriously? before. No, I had to look that up because someone said, "Oh, I like how you mixed in the dog face thing," and I'm like, "What's the dog face thing?" Oh. And that's when I'm like, "Oh, the skateboard thing makes more sense to oh, me now." It's all over. Yeah. Like that guy, he got like his like. Well, one, his followers blew up. And You're then, right. Like, ocean spray, like, bottom of truck. He was on, like, Monday Night Football. Like, well, he was just making the rounds. Well, I don't like, have television, so I don't really. Well, I know you don't. Have te- yeah, but I'm just, like, I couldn't. <laughs> no, I've never I, seen I don't it. have TikTok, and, like, I couldn't yeah. not see him on Instagram. Okay. Like, everyone because was, it was mainly a TikTok thing, right? Yeah, but then, like, you know, the video it goes just on got Instagram. Bigger. And, yeah. like, it was, like, every, there was, like, 10 million. Was it one up. video, or was it, like, him repeatedly doing No, this? he just had the one of just him just riding down the street and that. And everyone's like, oh, yeah, this is the vibe of 2020 here. Like, some positivity in and then, uh-huh. and then, yeah, it just blew up. Wow. Damn. Yeah. Somehow you missed out on internet culture. Oh, there. that was good. But uh, yeah, Get Fit Jen. Uh, always bring in the heat with these things. Uh, next, we have Swim Hack. And, uh, you know, doing Swim Hack stuff. <laughs> He's the man who had everything. <laughs> he, yeah. he peeled off like 4,000 layers okay. of mass stuff. At first, stuff. when he was standing there, yeah. I'm like, God. I didn't like James is definitely bulking because he looks bigger than I remember him yeah, looking. Yeah. And then the shirt started coming off and I and then I, I realized what was going on there. Yeah. That was a good one. That must have been some work getting all those things on though. Yeah. That <laughs> like he was wearing a lot of stuff. He did. He had a lot on. It's probably hot. How many how many items did he have on? Oh um, twenty some? Probably, uh, yeah. Yeah, and he had all the shorts on and everything it's, too. It's an impressive collection. Up next we have at JP McD03, Jeff McDermott. Yep. And uh, he, he, was just, <laughs> he was throwing, he threw his uh, training, my lifting form. Yeah. He, put a, he, he threw everything in the yeah, garbage. He just and, threw, you know, everything's uh, a throwaway culture. Yeah. And yeah, he threw all of it away. I really liked the, was it a piece of paper that said my lifting form? It was form? like one of those journals with there, the black. Yeah. I don't know what those are that called. Was but, a, yeah. the, the composition. Yeah, notebooks. composite. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. Was, that was very funny. Like my lifting form. Yep, that was, that was great. Yeah. Uh, next we have, Big Kyle, Kyle Hendricks, K yep. Hendricks Power. And um, Kyle, you know, he's just doing Canadian things, yeah. you know, like you should <laughs> expect up there. I always like Kyle's um, <laughs> tone, <laughs> yeah. like his... Uh, you know, it's like how you would expect the president of Ontario yeah, to talk. Right. Very, very cool, calm, yeah, and collective. He's got his lazy boy right next to his... He, <laughs> yeah. really, he really showcased the lifting hard and living easy where he's literally like doing his deadlift and then plopping in his lazy boy right next to it. And he had the the blue lift shorts in the display case and everything mm-hmm. there. Uh, next to the, is it the galaxy part two? Is I guess that how you would say that. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah. Big Luke, big Luke. And, um, <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, his was the World's Collide video. Oh, okay. <laughs> he used the World's Collide. Ten. We got to make sure to uh, maybe increase the font size the next time we do yeah, this. Yeah, I need, having, a, I need a ruler. Yeah, uh, the World's Collide, that was really funny. The, yeah. Just the World's Collide is, is just... He used the LaCroix boxes on for the end of the barbells. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. And good. then at the end, he, he dumped the LaCroix into a can of Pinto beans that he pulled out of his freezer. <laughs> yep, yep. Uh, next up, we have a uh, no stranger to massonomics contest. Scants won. Yep, big, big Tim. Tim dad, and uh, <laughs> he uh, he had things mixed around. He was yeah, yeah, lifting yes. easy and living hard, and you, his uh, Canadian accent really comes out well in that video too. And like his wife. I like his wife yells at him from the next room and she's like, no, yeah, it's yeah, lifting yeah. hard it's like, and living easy. Yeah. And he's like, what? <laughs> she's like, lifting hard. <laughs> so that was good. It was well done. And then no stranger We're to, getting close uh, to the top. No here. stranger to yeah. the top of the list. We had at mostly squat videos, big Matt. And uh, he explained what he did with that $500 check from the last time he won. <laughs> yeah. And, Everyone knows Matt's good at these videos. Matt is good. Um, unfortunately for Matt, we just decided you do, you just don't get to win again, so you get to be a winner, but not the grand prize winner. <laughs> yeah, so, 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 so you <laughs> didn't quite make it to the top. Uh, and I did like at the end, he's like, and why did this only have to be a minute long? I had so many more. Uh, <laughs> and I don't doubt that yeah, he did. Yes. <laughs> and then the top two. Yeah, so we're down to the top two. I would, before we get those, there was one other one that came in later, and I forgot to put it on the list. And I guess you don't get to be a winner just because I forgot to have you on the list because it came in a little later, but it was a good one worth mentioning. It was from the Gorilla Mecca, and that is Big J. And he had... Um, I don't, I don't, he, oh, yeah. He used the song. He yep. used, so this is the song. Fleetwood right? Mac. Oh, Fleetwood yeah, yeah. Mac, yeah. And he's on his longboard um, skating back and forth, mm-hmm. and he does... Uh, an overhead press on there. Oh, he like does. on his longboard, like as he's standing on his longboard, and he does a deadlift and a Jefferson deadlift. Uh, that uh, overhead there, press there, that would be that very would be hard. Tough, yeah, that would yeah. be hard. Um, so I don't know. Maybe he needs to be a winner too, because that one's pretty good. We'll get him on the list. Big J, you, you get, get a shirt. <laughs> <laughs> okay, final two here. After much debate, your runner up. To the Lift Hard Live Easy contest at TAA8 Big Tate. And uh, he had the Walk 500 Miles song with playing with the sandbag. And he was going places. A really good video. It was it was well done. A yeah, really was, good video. It was funny. It uh, it was good. It was nice. It had edited. no talking. Yeah. Just the, the action drove the story. Yeah. It's all, it's all it needed. My son's one criticism, he loved, my son loved this one. And he said, Jack said, because it was all him walking one direction across the thing. That he, he should have been coming back home. Yeah, the, the second half, because he, he well, shows back up in the garage but, at the end. But he could be playing he Pac-Man made, physics he where he goes so circle. far on one end, it comes yeah, back to the Right, other. right. Jack said, after a while, he should have turned around and started doing these back through the same scenes. Mm. I'm like, yeah, I could see that. That yeah. makes some sense to me, yeah. too. But really good video. It was, yep, yep. It was very uh, cool. Yep. And kind of broke the mold of having, it did. That of one, having a narrative of having to have your voice uh, drive the story. I'll be honest, it's pretty was pretty hard for me to not pick, not want to pick that one as yep. the winner because I like how we, just what you said, he broke the mold on that. Yeah. Yep. But it, I guess he, not. He didn't break it enough because he got second. <laughs> just, <laughs> didn't quite break that yeah. mold hard enough. And uh, your grand prize winner for the Lift Hard Live Easy contest is at. Nate E five six one. That's Big Nathan, and uh, he did a full on, did a full on The Office parody. <laughs> a lot of nugget, nap, mass. I mean, all the massonomics nuggets in there. They they, uh, they start in the home gym, yep. and then are at a restaurant, and it's, so they clearly got a waiter to go in on this with them too. And it's just like how he's. Um, Talk, you know, his friend that he obviously got to, to do <laughs> yeah. this. He's talking like at like an office interview, uh-huh. you know. And uh, for Big Nate, finally, he's up to this point. He's always been a bridesmaid and never the bride. Here, it's now his big he is. Day. Yeah, he finished second last time, but now he's he's the champ. So he's going to be able to run rub that in Matt and Tate's face and everyone else. Yeah. Well, now they can all have their big elite club of winners. So what he gets is as i just said earlier not one not two (laughs) 
but three $25 gift certificates to Applebee's. And a Texas Power a Bar. A Texas Power Bar. I, in hindsight, I wish we would have said a used Texas Power Bar and we would <laughs> yeah, ship him. Uh, maybe I'll give him his choice, whether he wants the new one or one of the used ones from Massonomics Gym. We could we could ask him who which would, one. Who wouldn't want a yeah. used Texas Power we Bar? We could sign the used gym. one. <laughs> If we need to wear off, like probably immediately, <laughs> instantly. Yeah, <laughs> but he's gonna have some goodies coming his yeah, way. So, yeah. um, thank you to everyone who entered. Those are always a ton of fun to watch. I think everyone had fun making them, and I think everyone that entered also has fun watching everyone else's too. So, right, uh, we uh, we appreciate everyone that continues to live that uh, lift hard, live easy yeah. lifestyle. But Tommy, we did. I did have some problem procuring these that we do have like a well, second set. Well, they're not the easiest are, thing to come by nowadays. Oh, well, and we may have a second set coming from Amazon that they won't let us return. So if so, you and I are at some point in time going to be a, living a pretty easy ourselves. Trip, that, yeah. A long road trip yeah. to yeah. Applebee's. Yes. We'll just save them for the next time we go to the Arnold. And yeah. Get like yeah. Applebee's again. <laughs> <laughs> like tonight we live like kings. Tanner, that's where I, uh, that's where I introduced you to middle class fancy. Remember, oh, like what, changed. what, what better way to say you found the, the middle class at fancy Instagram account? Was that than, at Chili's or? Oh, that might have been a Chili's. I mean, it still fits just the same. But. Yeah, it's just long enough ago that I can't even remember what it was. Yeah, it was one of those restaurants. Yeah, <laughs> one of those really <laughs> middle class fancy <laughs> restaurants. Yeah. Okay, thank you guys, but we got to keep. Damn, we got to keep the show yeah. moving. Our guest is going to be pissed. Yeah, wow, well, we're kind of slacking. All right, today's show, very important, very important announcement. Today's show is brought to you by Lifting Large and their amazing Black Friday sale. Lifting Large announces their Black Friday weekend sale. The entire website is on sale up to 60% off. This includes custom squat suits, bent shirts, and belts from Titan. Orders over $100 get a free Lifting Large drawstring bag and orders over $150 get a free Lifting Large t-shirt. Free shipping is on all orders over $60 in the USA and international shipping rates are reduced by 15%. No discount codes are needed and no other discount codes are valid during the sale. The sale runs from November 26th through November 30th. Place your orders at liftinglarge.com and you can follow them on Instagram at liftinglarge.com. That's at liftinglarge, D O T C O M. The Massonomics Podcast is also brought to you by Spud Inc. and the Strongman Harness. The Spud Inc. Strongman Harness is built from the toughest material available to pull the heaviest cars, trucks, and planes. Remember picks or it didn't happen. With a lower pulling angle than most harnesses, the Strongman Harness gives athletes better leverage and easier breathing. And with a crossed brace point on the backside, the harness stays exactly where you put it, which means no slipping ever. The Strongman Harness is built to fit athletes of all sizes, from the novice Strongman just starting out to the next World's Strongest Man contender. Check out the Strongman Harness online at spud-inc-straps.com. This episode is also brought to you by Hybrid Performance Method. If you've been training without a coach and have been looking for a competitive edge, remember to check out hybridperformancemethod.com. Hybrid has 15 different strength and fitness programs covering everything from powerlifting and strongman to gymnastics and general fitness, all included in one training membership. That's not all. Hybrid also offers one-on-one -on -one personalized nutrition coaching that uses lifestyle habits and a flexible approach to shape your nutrition plan around your current lifestyle instead of turning your lifestyle upside down in order to support unsustainable habits that only work in the short run the way most programs do. If you're ready to take your training, nutrition, or both to the next level, use code MASS, that's M-A-S-S, -S, in all caps, for 5% off membership to all programs for the life of your membership. And last but not least, today's show is brought to you by Texas Power Bars. They are the lift hard component of our Live Easy. Couldn't do it without them. Buddy Caps first started lifting weights in the late 60s and began powerlifting in the mid-70s. At the time, he was working for Image Barbell building gym equipment. Around 1976, a local machine shop started making Olympic bars for them, calling it the Image Bar. In 1977, Image Barbell became Champion Barbell. It was then that Buddy started looking at the bars with an intent of changing them for the better. In 1979, Buddy bought his first lathe to begin addressing the known issues. In 1980, his passion, drive, and purpose now had a greater mission. Buddy set out on his own to make what he believed was the greatest bar he'd ever seen and trained with, and the Texas Power Bar was born. It was strong as a house with the best knurling and was maintenance-free. Hundreds of state, national, international, world, and massonomics powerlifting records have been and continue to be set and broken on the Texas Power Bar. 
To learn more about Texas Power Bars and buy one of their legendary bars, visit TexasPowerBars.com. That's what you do. She would do this thing? Yes, let's get Jessica on the horn. Voice call, that's what what you want. <laughs> Your call has been forwarded oh, no. <laughs> to voice message. Uh oh. Three, one. Uh oh. That's never had that happen before, <laughs> have we? Oh boy. Let's try again. Straight to voicemail, Tanner. Oh, oh that's better. Hopefully. <laughs> Hello. Oh, is this Jessica? It is. How are you? Good, Jessica. You are live on the Massonomics podcast with Tanner Great. and Tommy. We're excited to have you on here. Hi, Jessica. Hello. Thanks so much for having me. Yeah, we're uh, slightly concerned. The first time we called, it went straight to voicemail. So we we're we just <laughs> no. Nope, I'm ha- here. <laughs> we're just gonna have to like stop the show right there. And we, we've never had it happen. I don't before. know what that happened. I saw the notification. <laughs> I was like, oh my god! I'm sitting here with my phone. I don't even know what's going on. But nope, I'm here now. Okay. So <laughs> awesome. Well, we do have a lot of stuff to to talk to you about. Um, first of all, the most important thing, I don't know the answer to this. Do you say your last name, Fithen? Fithen. Fithen. So close. Okay. okay. That was <laughs> yeah. my second. That was actually my first guess. And when I was right. talking to my wife about it, she said it was probably the other way. So Tanner, I blame you wrong about everything. So your yeah. wife is right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Yes. So you run the Instagram account, You Look Like a Man. Yeah. Okay. The, that's one. <laughs> right. Right. So you, and I guess I called it an Instagram account. I mean, I know you have a website and everything like to me, I picture it as an Instagram account in my head. That's right. That's where I see it usually. Yeah. Well, I actually, um, the account started back in, um, 2019. Um, I had, um, I was in kind of the, the, the strength world and I had been receiving these same kind of ridiculous comments kind of over, um, the course of my couple of years that I trained strongman primarily. Um, and I, one day, the words you look like a man and I put them over this kind of ridiculous background and I actually uploaded it to Facebook and I said I'm going to start categorizing like all these ridiculous things that people are saying to me over these like stupid kind of fitspo you know like super motivational kind of looks yeah Um, yeah, and I just uploaded it to Facebook yeah the the pictures of the squirrels and like you know beautiful (laughs) mountains and stuff just to really highlight the absolute like fantasy of these words right so i uploaded it to facebook and it kind of took off from there everybody on facebook had this <laughs> sort of immediate response to it so that's the instagram page actually happened right after that but um it's it's primarily um the biggest on instagram right now so a lot of the co- i mean so that's that's really a, ma- a majority of what you do you highlight these s- stupid comments that <laughs> um is it mostly most of the time is it men making the comment about women lifting or women in an sport i guess you know i primarily um you know i i I focus on everyone kind of i I accept submissions so people um often ask me kind of the the most common type of submission is or um what they see the most of and unfortunately it is mostly guys in my professional opinion now after (laughs) reading this every day for you know (laughs) almost 18 months i think i can speak on it at this point but it is um it is mostly men um unfortunately that that seem to go on social media and have a whole lot to say about a whole lot of things. <laughs> Guys have a For lot to be insecure about, you know? <laughs> right? <laughs> but they have a lot of opinions about a lot of things, and they really do need to be heard. So that's um primarily what I see. But I do feature, unfortunately, comments from women as well. Um, they definitely they take a little different tone. Um, a lot of times, um, the comments that I get from women, but I do kind of feature whoever is kind of sent to me. Yeah. Um, but unfortunately, yeah, it tends to be mostly men that are making these kind of unfortunate comments that land on on women's social media pages, mostly. Yeah. Do you remember what the first comment? You know, the, the what the very first comment was that sparked you, where you're like, I need, I should highlight this. You know, do do you yeah. remember what that was? Like? <laughs> Yeah, I had a, um, I, I've had a few, um, not as many, God, not anywhere near as many as some people for some reason are just a magnet for this shit. But <laughs> for me, yeah, for me, I don't know if it's just my overall tone or, but um, I, 
I was lifting, um, I trained strongman. So I was doing a, um, Atlas stone lift. And I told this story actually to somebody recently and it's kind of, it's not even funny. Some of this stuff is kind of just gross. Yeah. Um, but they, right. yeah, somebody called me a transgendered creature on my own page yeah. and it was like, yeah. It's and it's like, like, first a of all, you're using that as like way. a slur. Right. <laughs> yeah. I didn't know this person. He was like, you look like a transgendered creature. And it was like, what the fuck? Like, yeah. it's just like, <laughs> right. you know, eight different directions. So that was when I was like, well, I'll just start keeping track of all the dumb things that people are saying to me. And so that's kind of where it kind of took off. And once I put it on Facebook, people just would not shut up about it. I mean, the Facebook post had hundreds of comments of people going, here's what people will say to me. And then somebody suggested you should put this on Instagram. And then from there, it was just, you know, lights out from the whole thing. So. Very cool. <laughs> so, yeah. so you, uh, you have a shop that you run off based off, <laughs> off, off of a lot of probably what you've ran through the page then, right? You know, you saw like selling apparel and some other things. Uh, oh goodness. Yeah. <laughs> what, what's the most popular item that you sell? I think the most popular item, I sell a shirt that says probably steroids on it. Okay. And it looks kind of like the Coca-Cola kind of um, yep. script look. So i um, accusing everyone actually of using <laughs> steroids yeah. in some form or another. So um, the shop was kind of born out of people saying, it would be really funny if we took some of these things and really embraced them and kind of took these words and said, you know, I'm not going to let this get me down any longer. I'm going to take these stupid words. And not only are we going to make fun of them, but I'm going to put it on a t-shirt and I'm going to walk around with it. Like, okay, sure. Probably steroids. Ha ha. You know, it's just like whatever you say. So right. that one is probably um, the most popular one I have. The most vulgar one I have that people love the most is a shirt that says big clit energy on I've it. I've seen that. Yeah. And, yeah. yeah. So I wore that one accidentally one time to the doctor and I was the first time I've been embarrassed of like my own shit. I was like, Oh my God, I'm embarrassed of my own stuff right the, now. I don't the doctor know. was like, do we need to take a look at something? Or? Right. Yeah. Like, I don't know a what that means, but to welcome. Say, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right. So the big clit energy is sort of a big giant finger to all the guys saying, I don't want to date a girl that's on gear and all the all stuff that they say. Uh -huh. They have no idea actually what the fuck they're talking about even at all. But yeah. um, that's probably the most vulgar one I have that, the, that everyone really likes. Yeah, And the shirts, it seems like they made the rounds pretty good because I actually think I ran across people wearing your shirts before I ran across your page. Like it seems like the shirts are getting out there. <laughs> they, they are. And they're kind of a fun way. Um, I had a, a woman that told me that she joined a new gym somewhere and she saw um, another woman that was wearing one of my tanks, a different style. And they had like this moment over like, Hey, you, Hey, you kind of a deal. And so it was kind of a fun little, like bring us together. I see them in all kinds of um, pretty funny places that they just sort of show up. So I see them on the internet in places I didn't know they existed on, on people that I didn't know. Um, so yeah, they seem to do make the rounds and people really enjoy um, kind of a different way of kind of fighting back against this idiocy is just to kind of make fun of it. Yeah. It's a good approach. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, how many submissions do you get a, get a day? Do you think? Oh gosh, hundreds. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah that's awesome. Yeah, no, do you get through all of them? I mean, that that's awesome in that. Oh you're yeah, like it's, getting, it's, it's, it's terrible. It's, but it's terrible. Like, like people suck that bad. Yeah. But it's awesome right. that people know that you're the one they need to funnel these yeah. all to. Right. Yeah. I mean, I get probably hundreds of DMs and then the tags are probably, I mean, a whole bunch. The problem is at this point that when I was smaller, when the account was smaller, it was a lot more manageable. Mm -hmm. And I felt really um, responsible for almost having to answer all of these. And I'm right. just one person, you know, at this point, it's just not possible. So because I take DM submissions, um, sometimes they sit there for a hot minute, but I try to respond to as many as I possibly can. A lot of people, um, my stories are normally pretty wild on Instagram. They've got any like literally everything and anything is kind of going on and so a lot of people just go right to the stories right away and don't even mess with the, with the main page at this point yeah. um so i try to keep track of them kind of that way but yeah, um, the number of submissions are kind of at some point they, they do get a little redundant where it's like it's kind of the same, you know, five things that people are saying in some respect over and over and over again. But mm -hmm. every single day they kind of blow my mind. They still blow my <laughs> mind, even at this yeah. point, like are you guys serious? Like, this is really what we're, yeah. Like, like just, are you joking? Or are you really yeah. still saying that same thing? Some yeah. other level of just ridiculous comes yeah. on every single day. And I'm like, I thought I would run out of material by now, but no, 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 no. It's just going strong. You know, it just, nope, no problems with that. Yeah. yeah. The internet kind of is a bottomless pit of, <laughs> yeah. yeah. You have no idea kind of who you're going to get. So I was 
banned for a month. Did you hear about this well, at all? We, we kind of talked. Kind of. We're, we, we, yeah, <laughs> so that, we so wanted one we, of the things we, yeah, we need to, to ask touch base. Yeah. We, we were eventually going to get to talking about you right, competing in, in, in America's Strongest Woman here. But um, yeah. I, was that the thing that got your account back, though? Or like what? So tell us no, the whole band story a here. No, joke, and I probably shouldn't okay, have made okay. that joke. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> The guy from, I competed in America's Strongest Woman um, the other weekend. And, and the you, guy did there, you win? You won? I did win. Okay. I actually won the heavyweight division, the awesome. extra medium division. Yes, that one. That's the division. But I um, the, the promoter of that show, I had been talking to him on my regular personal Instagram account. And he didn't know that I, my 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 stuff got banned off of there for a totally different reason. And so the big joke was he thought I was like, did you die? Like, I don't yeah. know what happened to you. And so I kind of showed up at a blaze of glory and he was like, Oh my God, you're alive. And so Jackson hilariously, yeah, yeah, hilariously like the day after the show, um, my 30 day ban of Facebook kind of expired at the same exact time that I won the show. Uh, so the big joke was that iron resurgence had actually gotten my accounts back, which was yeah. not true. So what did you actually get banned for? for? Well, um, to make a really long story short, I featured a guy um, who had gone on this photo of three um, women wearing bikinis. They were CrossFit athletes. They were very fit. Um, he went on this picture of these three women, and he made a bunch of really uh, lewd, crass comments about their bodies, mostly about their genitals. He was saying that they looked like they were busted open, and he was telling other men that they looked loose and all kinds of just things that you cannot imagine a stranger would go on and kind right. of say, mm-hmm. just, <laughs> you're just reading it like, what? Like, who even thinks to do this? Yeah. Yeah. So he went on there and he, unfortunately for him, um, had a very public account on Instagram. He had his family listed. He had his employer was linked in his bio. Oh, so all everyone kinds, went yeah. after him. Yeah. 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 So, it didn't take a whole lot once I just put it in my stories. He actually never even made it to my main page. He was literally only in my stories. It didn't take a whole lot for people to say, I'm going to take a screenshot of the shit that he's saying, and I'm going to send it to his employer and see uh, if they think this is funny. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so it didn't take very long for that to kind of happen. Um, but the main thing was I actually posted this whole story on Facebook. I don't edit out anything on Facebook. These are public accounts. They're public comments. Yep. Um, I don't feel very responsible for redacting people's information when you publicly put it out there. When you you're going out of your way that hard to make a negative statement. Well, that, and that's a fair <laughs> point. It, and they're making this, pu- you know, I don't, if any of them think that they're going on Instagram and these comments are private, then they're, right. uh, so, yeah, you, know, you need to grow up a little right, bit. Right. right yeah, yeah, exactly. These are, this guy was in his probably thirties. He had two kids. This was not, you know, a child that didn't know any better. This was very much a grown man. Um, he was given all kinds of chances to apologize or even, you know, delete his comment. He never did. So long story short, um, his employer got contacted. His employer did not think that was funny. Um, wrote a very nice email back that said this was going to be handled. I actually talked to his ex-wife. It was a lot of drama, way more drama than I signed up for actually. Yeah. Yeah. For for running an Instagram account. Yeah. That's for running an Instagram account and selling shitty t-shirts. You know, this is a lot, this is a lot (laughs) going on for me, but, um, long story short, that happened on Facebook as well. And so basically I had posted this on Facebook, like I have hundreds of other posts. Um, and then I woke up the next day and my accounts were disabled. My Facebook account was disabled and my personal Instagram um, was also disabled, which is really weird. Really? Wow. Took, yeah. My lifting account of like terrible squats and pugs, you know, they took them off. I was like, okay. I mean, I guess that's defensive to people at this <laughs> point now, I guess. But um, yeah, the, I woke up and that was disabled and kind of round robin in a couple of days, I was able to actually talk to someone that worked at Facebook, which is almost impossible to do. Oh, I didn't um, even know that is yeah, possible. Yeah, but she was a friend of mine. <laughs> yeah. Well, she was a friend of mine and it was uh, basically like an FBI, like on the condition of anonymity. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? It was like, oh my God, you guys are crazy. <laughs> um, the social networks are nuts, but she basically said that they had banned my IP address for 30 days based on revenge porn is what they called it, Whoa. which is just not it's accurate. A very or weird category to put something very like that under. Very specific category to yeah. put me in. Yeah. So my Facebook accounts and my Instagram got deleted for 30 days uh, for apparently inciting revenge porn, which is not what I do. And I <laughs> didn't matter. Didn't matter one bit. So it was a kind of a really great lesson of Facebook slash Instagram can do pretty much whatever, whatever they, they want, want to. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. are like, you're just showing like pretty much. You're really taking it. You really are getting put into some weird corners of social media, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, totally did not bargain for any of this, but it kind of has just been riding kind of wherever it goes at this point. Yeah. Um, I started it not, it was a joke when I started, it was supposed to be kind of funny and it is funny. Like there are comments and stuff that people say that is just, it's so dumb. It's funny. Right. I'm right. a little less hateful and just dumb, but yeah, it's kind of gone into a world that I didn't really know existed. Um, kind of as, as, as bad as it was, like I knew it was bad for me, but then when I started talking to other people, there are people that are literally getting, I mean, the absolute shit harassed and bullied out of them every day they go online. I mean, hundreds. So it's just, I, I didn't know that it was even that bad. And I think the account has really started to take on um, quite a different meaning. I certainly didn't mean to start, you know, an activist account. Right. Yeah, right, right, yeah. 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 They're like, you're like a feminist athlete. Right. Activist. I was like, oh my God, what the shit I am. I just, yeah, yeah, that's true. Uh, though, yeah. It's way easier to just be funny than yeah. have to. <laughs> right. Here right. I thought I was a comedian and yeah. they're like, no, nah, yeah. you're an activist. I was like, God damn it. Okay, <laughs> all right, fine. You know. Yeah. Shit. Yeah. Okay. Not the title I asked for. But. Yeah. No, huh? So they you're kind like, of you're like Batman. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, yes, exactly. It's like, like well, the hero they deserve. Yeah. Right. They the shine. The, the, they the shine that you look like a sure. man's spotlight, and you appear. And <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it might not be the hero you wanted, but you know what you deserve. <laughs> actually, at this point, so yeah. So it's definitely taken on a much more serious meaning, and I think um, kind of asking for uh, social media reform is kind of the area that we're kind of going into. It's very technical and it's very deep, um, but it's definitely an area that I think is is still terribly overlooked right now with uh, people are able to online harass and bully with zero consequence. And it's, you know, it's really developing into a, a much more sinister kind of thing than I think people even really, really understood when it started. Yeah, that's a, that is a, a, a deep rabbit hole that uh, mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't even know <laughs> <laughs> kind of makes yeah. my head hurt even thinking right, about it. Right. Yeah. So, uh, but it's, it sounds like, you know, from our perspective, you're doing a good thing then. And uh, not to make a joke out of it, but that's kind of what we do about everything. Like sure. as long as we're talking about the social media reform, could you have them, uh, fix Instagram to make it go back to the normal layout. <laughs> I just saw that. I did not sign up for that at all. And, it switched and I was like, oh my God, I can't even find my, how do you even work this? Well, the, That's the worst when they do that. Oh, <laughs> the best yeah. was Tanner has multiple business profiles right, on his phone. Right. Every, right. I, they're all show, different. Before we started, yeah, every yeah. account had a completely different layout. Yeah, on yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. No, I hate, remember Facebook switched uh, a couple of, like I think last year and people freaked the fuck out yeah. and they got them to change it back. So no, I hate that. I can't believe they just do that. And you're like, well, all right then. Yeah. It's like, all right. I guess I'll use this one. I guess I just have to go to your shop yeah. and use reels now. That's yeah. just yeah. That's the rules. <laughs> I, I have to buy too. stuff and use reels. <laughs> yeah. Right. New rules. I haven't used a single reel and I think they're mad at me that I haven't used that. I, I think we're, anymore. I think we're experiencing that same thing, you know, and, and stuff like that happens though. I think that that's yeah. real, you know, I'm that, being targeted right now for not yeah. using reels. I'm sorry. I don't have anything to say on a reel. My bad. <laughs> I still don't get it, and I'm. I don't think I don't want to learn have anything to say yeah. on the real. Yeah. yeah. Well, I don't have TikTok either, and all the kids yeah. can't believe it. They're Neither like, do we. Yeah. I'm yeah. like, no, I'm. I'm good. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> we we should touch on a little bit though. Um, you, you did kind of brush over it, but you are a you are a strength yes, athlete. You're ext- you, you and some, extremely strong. You got right? some. Yeah, you got some credentials to your name now. I do have a bit of credentials, which is kind of funny whenever these guys are like, I bet you don't even lift. And I'm like, sure, eh, listen, no, sure. probably lift more than you. <laughs> yeah, right. Whatever, right. I don't even really get into it. Yeah, I actually joined a gym about five years ago. I actually wanted to learn how to Olympic lift. And it didn't take very long to figure out that I suck at that. That is a hard sport, man. That is really difficult. No, I was not into that. So the guy there was like, you know, you're not very good at Olympic lifting, but we do have strongman here and you might be interested in that. So the gym owner kind of talked me into doing like a novice strongman competition about five years ago. And I loved it. I fell in love with it almost immediately. It was just like the coolest thing I'd ever done. So I started competing about five, about five years ago at this point. Um, And kind of the rest is sort of history. I started doing every strongman competition that I could find um, and then I competed in nationals and I won nationals and then I went to the Arnold and I won the Arnold amateur. Um, and then I've been on the pro circuit for the past three years. So it's kind of been a whirlwind of learning everything there is to learn about stuff. But when a lot of the times when I see these guys that are harassing these women and they like to come at me that I don't know anything about strength, I'm like, <laughs> <Yeah>. sure, <Yeah. laughs> whatever. I mean, at some point you just get tired of even defending it. You're like, yeah, you know what? You're right. You, you got me. You got, I don't know anything about anything, but yeah. 
Um, I, with America's Strongest Woman was just um, last last week, and of course with the COVID stuff all shut down, um, a lot of the competitions are being rescheduled. So it's kind of a weird time for people, for everyone, you know, in all sports right now. So they um, they're talking about moving the Arnold next year too, which is our prime competition that we take part in. Um, usually it's supposed to be in March in Columbus, and I don't think they're going to have it in March. In well, we're just, we, we're we've been discussing about. that a lot. Like they're being really, really yeah. hush hush on what's actually happening there. Yeah, I don't think there's any way it's going to happen in March, which is just devastating for everyone. But, you know, with all the um, international the countries right now. Oh, that, um, yeah. yeah. You know, they're well, all yeah, on I, I don't know how they yeah. yeah, I don't know how they could do it. Um, I yeah. mean, the whole point of the Arnold is to get hundreds of thousands of people packed in a room together. Which right. Is, in, in the expo. Yeah. yeah. So we did the we did the Arnold in March when um, that was like basically at the beginning of all the COVID. Right. Stuff. Yep. Um, and the Arnold was like one of the very first major things to shut down and say you couldn't have spectators. Um, and I think they didn't, you know, we didn't really understand how bad it was then, right. but, um, we did the Arnold with basically no spectators or no expo. Um, and I can't imagine them doing that again. I mean, it was, just, it was weird. It was very strange. It was like a ghost town kind of thing. I mean, we had a great show, but, um, yeah, they're gonna, they're probably going to redo the Arnold. So I've heard from a lot of people that, you know, during this COVID shutdown, it's been really difficult for strength athletes to really yeah, keep up your motivation for these months. I mean, it's definitely a first world problem of, you know, all these athletes, but at the same time, it's like people's gyms are shutting down again and their competitions are all getting closed. So it's really a difficult time. I think for a lot of people to kind of stay motivated in their sport. <laughs> yeah, for sure. In, in men's strong man, um, we kind of know the the pinnacle is world strongest man just went out on. That's probably the pinnacle. I would say uh, maybe sure. just one a is uh, the Arnold. How about in, in uh, female women's, Version Women's of the sport. What, man, I know yeah, there's yeah, what and also for that or a let me just ask you that. Yeah, yeah, even thinking about it, yeah, yeah, what the hell do you, are you supposed to say? We should just ask so, it because I'm sick of not really knowing what the <laughs> most people are okay with you referring to it as the women's division of strong man. Strong okay. man is like the sport, right? Even and that's how I think of, of it too. Right. Yeah. I don't think of like a sex being a it's like oh, the name the is sport strong is man, strong man. This, yeah, like that's such a but it's but that is yeah, that confuses me. Yeah, at at the shows like at the Arnold, they will refer to it as like the pro strong woman division. They'll okay, call it that. Right. But like as a sport, I think most people are okay with referring to the sport as a whole as strong okay. man, which right. is fine. Right. I've had somebody else be like, I don't know what to say. I'm going to be wrong, so I don't know. <laughs> right. I'm afraid. Right. And, that's, <laughs> and of like, course, I run this account, so they're like, Don't write this down. If I get it wrong, I'm sorry. So, uh, he like our used the wrong name for our, the sport. Our, inten yeah. our intentions like, are like, good. There's a guy at my gym that's yeah. always afraid I'm going to write down stuff you say. And I'm like, well, are you saying asshole shit? Right. I might. I mean, right. it's like, stop saying asshole shit then. I mean, <laughs> no, but uh, strong man is basically um, in, in, in the women's side of the sports. Right. Um, there is a, um, a competition that is also basically, it's basically like a pro-am. It's called official strong man games. Yep. Um, and that crowns world's strongest woman. So that is basically the pinnacle of, um, in my opinion, of course, there's always room for debate, but World's right. Strongest Woman happens, and it didn't happen this year. It was supposed to happen in November uh, this month, actually, and they canceled it. But also the pro um, Arnold that happens, which is an invite-only show of 10 athletes, Right. Um, that would probably be right below that, I would say. And they've started to put um, that stuff on the main stage, like at least some of the events yeah. uh, during yeah. the Arnold, so that's pretty cool. And and they do the uh, like the record breaker thing that they do. I know uh, with Rogue, yeah. yeah, we've been there a couple of years where we're right up by the stage where they've done like uh, the, the Atlas Stone yeah. record yes. breaking and stuff. So that's really cool. Yeah, it is really cool. They've started. Um, Strongman Corporation runs the pro strong woman side of the Arnold. And they have been pushing really hard to get the women um, at least some of the same recognition as the men on the stage, which has been pretty cool this year. Of course, with no crowds, that you could do anything about that. But um, Rogue offering the record breakers. I participated in the Circus Dumbbell Record Breaker in March, okay. which was a yeah. lot of fun. So, yeah, um, Rogue has been doing that. And so we got to go on the main stage back in March um, where all the bodybuilders get to go at the Arnold. Yeah. And, oh, uh, yeah. The, the, at the... The, the night show, the yeah. grand, uh, whatever yeah, the hell the that's called. Yeah, yeah. Right. We've yeah, went to that so once. We're, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're backstage with like all the, the, the bodybuilding right. and like the fitness women. And we've got on like our gear and our chalk and our like ammonia salts. And we're like walking around with all this stuff on. And they're just like, okay, the one lady offered me some glitter, which was very nice. Of her. <laughs> <laughs> Declined, but that was fine. So Arnold was actually in the front stage when we, that was the first time yeah. women had ever been on the ballroom stage. So big things um, for women in the sport That's, that have never, ever happened for them before, which is pretty cool. That is cool. Isn't that ballroom 
um, event. Isn't that a weird feel how there's like some people in suits like what yeah, like it's almost like, like rangers a, are like the yeah. most formal thing to like just yeah. people in the back it's like that are like a black tie event and we walk in wearing like our yeah. shorts yeah. and you yeah. Know. <laughs> yeah and then to top it off we've got the women wearing like all of our stuff and then the, the women in bikinis that are just walking around right like, just normal gear right. for them and yeah. we're like okay and then some people are in like dresses right. yeah, yeah like gowns really yeah as far as dress code look. goes that's one of the weirdest <laughs> rooms you'll ever walk into <laughs> we is. have no idea we had no idea what was happening at any time it was like i don't I, and then the stage itself is so bright and you just blinded once you're up there you couldn't really even see anyone so a lot of people asked me if i was really nervous and i'm like not really i mean you can't i mean there's nothing to look at so yeah. i mean you have kind of a vague understanding that you're on a stage in front of people but not really but it was pretty cool the experience that they're allowing kind of um, the women's side of the sport to get that kind of recognition. Yeah, that's badass. Yeah. So can you give us just a quick a quick recap of like what your events were at Amer- America's Strongest Woman and how you did? Yeah. Um, so America's Strongest Woman had um, five events. Um, one was a circus dumbbell for reps. A circus dumbbell is a um, kind of just like a dumbbell, but it's usually in a, a larger size dumbbell. It usually has a bigger handle um, and it's meant to be kind of awkward. So... Um, the women's in my division, um, it was a circus dumbbell at 140 pounds, um, and you have to clean each rep from the floor, and I think I got three reps on that. Um, the next one after that was called a basket deadlift. A uh, basket deadlift is kind of what you see. Have you ever seen the the guys doing like a car deadlift where they have like an apparatus hooked up to a car? Yep. Um, it's meant to be deadlifted like from a front handle. So I had, yep. um, a big apparatus that had these kegs in the back, and they call it a basket deadlift. Um, and that one, um, was like 475, uh, 475 pounds. And I think I got eight reps on that one. Um, we had a Husafel for max distance. A Husafel stone looks like a big shield. Um, this one is rubber, which is kind of cool. It's filled with shot on the inside and it was like 280 pounds. It's, it's a max distance event, which is really rude of the promoters. Yeah, yeah. A, fr- distance, a front yeah. carry max distance. A it's front like, carry where, max distance. What am I supposed to yeah. breathe? Yeah. Yeah. You're not supposed to breathe at all. Exactly. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I still don't know the answer to that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so just. Are you there? Mental fortitude okay. that the other people have. It's just yeah. like, go until you throw up kind of thing. And I'm like, yep. well, that's, that's good for you girls. I'm not doing that, but yeah. <laughs> um, didn't do great on that one. We had a, a truck pull, which is kind of fun for people to watch. Very typical, really cool strong man, which is seated truck pull with a rope yeah. um, where you sit down arm and you basically arm. pull the truck. Uh-huh. Arm over arm pull. Um, really cool strongman event that people really like to watch. Um, and then we had a bag toss over a bar, which are a bunch of sandbags that are filled with various weights, and you have to throw them backwards over a, I think, 13-foot bar. Um, shockingly, I did really well at that one. I'm not much of a thrower, but um, we had, I think, two 35-pound bags and a 40-pound bag that you had to throw over a bar. And then the last event we had was a four sandbag load medley, um, 180 pounds to 270 that you have to pick up and carry and load on a like a 48 or a 50 inch platform. So it was over two days done really well. It was at the um, Savannah Convention Center in Georgia, which is kind of a really cool place. Uh, I had the Highland Games was going on and also a powerlifting meet all at the same time. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, we had Jackson Reeves on a few weeks ago uh, before the competition. He was just talking about his plans for the competition and everything. So it's interesting cool. to hear how some of that played out then, too. It's cool. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. It was a We found out later it was an Arnold Pro qualifier for the women. So to go on the pro stage, um, you actually have to win these shows or place high at other shows. Yep. Why it's an invite-only show. So um, they invited me back to the pro for 2021, whenever that happens. So I'm going to get to go back and do um, – supposedly next year, whenever it does happen, the women are going to be doing the same events as the male pro. Oh, that's so, a good yeah. idea. I like yeah. that. Uh, well, yeah. well, we've been saying so. They do this like wheel of pain and yeah, stuff and all yeah, this really yeah. – Last year, we were told, and I don't know if this is valid or actually true, so no one get mad at me, but I was told that they don't want the women to do some of those because then it oh, doesn't make look it look hard. bad. Yeah. 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 Make the men look. <laughs> well, yeah. yeah. It doesn't yeah. make it look hard if, if right. I'm doing it and then Thor does it right after me. You know right, what I mean? Even though right. they've changed the weight. So yeah. theoretically, we've heard in 2021, regardless of all of that, we're going to be doing the same events, just basically scaled versions. I think right. that's cool. I think, I I think yeah. that's a cool idea. Um, 
Yeah, we, we usually yeah. go and have a booth and stuff, depending on what the Arnold's ever like again. Maybe we'll get to see you there one of these years. Then. Maybe you will. Yeah. I know I've been there. Let's be my fourth year. And last year with the expo being canceled, all these people that I was going to see. Yeah. Hopefully they'll get it figured out by next year. I hope so. Let's hope so. Uh, I don't, you might not be familiar, but with every guest, we play a game called Overrated Underrated, and we're going to play that here uh, with you today. But as I'm oh, saying that, I did forget one thing. <laughs> my wife said I needed to bring this up to you, that when she was in seventh grade track, and this just fit ties in really good with you look like a man and how yeah. these comments can actually, you know, stick with a, a person in seventh grade yeah. track. One of her classmates, a boy told, uh, she, she ran the 400 and they're in, she's in track shorts. And one of the boys said, um, in her class said that you have man legs. Oh no! And, uh, she's like, yeah. she goes, I still remember that. And I still don't like him for that. Right. You know, like, I mean, she's laughing about it, but yeah, like, right. just kind of like, that's, I still don't like him for saying that, you know? And that's funny, but she's remembered that since seventh right. grade when right. somebody said that nastiness to her. Yeah. And that's funny. You know, it sticks with you. Absolutely. Yeah. That's uh, hilarious. Okay. So overrated or underrated? Uh, we pick we pick a series of topics. It's usually four, so we've got four for you, and they're special Jessica topics today. And the stuff is all extremely serious, just like the rest of our show. No joking uh-huh. around or anything like that. <laughs> and right. the the thing to remember is you do have to um, r- land on either overrated or underrated. You can't ride the line in between. So that's probably the trickiest part. So I just have to tell you if something is overrated or underrated. That's what you're saying. Yeah. And, and you have your druthers to elaborate as much or as little as you'd like <laughs> oh, to. God. Druther, All right. Druthers is a silly word that we like to say just in association with this. Sounds game. like a setup to me, yeah. this game, but all right. <laughs> okay. So overrated or underrated toning. Oh my God. Overrated. <laughs> These are good. I can tell yeah. you did your homework. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so toning is not a thing, and if anyone ever asks you about toning, you need to thing. send back a picture of a fucking printer and say that muscles don't tone. You're either building or losing, all right? You don't yeah. tone them. Fuck. You, you, you but t- what if you get, like, the roller that has, like, the vibration in it that yes. helps you tone on the cover? Yes, exactly. The, that one is fine. You can use okay. that one. Okay. Don't oh, those that. are all right. Okay. Yes, that's how you tone. I knew there was a way around yeah. it. There you go. Okay. So then uh, topic number two, and I, I saw a quote on your site that said, oh, no. you look like a man is like the boondock saints of internet trolls. So yeah. topic number two, overrated or underrated boondock saints. Oh, that's <laughs> definitely underrated. I absolutely love that movie. I've probably watched it 300 times. It's one of my husband's favorite movies ever. So big fan of the boondock saints. Someone actually said that to me because she said, this was one of the only places where if you can't have any other kind of consequences, well, you can have social consequences. And so yep. that's kind of how that came about. The guy's story I told you earlier about his employer seeing his words, that's a social consequence. So yep. Yep. Moondock Saints, you want to call it however you want. Maybe people need to take it into their own hands, uh, which is a whole different topic. But <laughs> definitely, definitely a fan of Boondock Saints. It's certainly like a cult classic movie. Yeah. Right. And you either really like it or you don't. It's right. one or the other. Right. We were talking before. It's like, I just remember my college days. It was like everyone either had like a Boondock Saints or like a Pulp Fiction poster yeah. or yeah. like there was a Scarface. Pul- like yeah. it's like every college right. house had one of those posters on the yeah. wall. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So topic number three, overrated or underrated traps? Oh, man. I'm going to say underrated because in Strongman, you've got to have huge traps. So women, a lot of times, that's one of the muscle groups that guys tend to tell them that they, they shouldn't have. And it's right. like, literally that's a part of your body. Like everyone has them. So they've been called everything from like trapezius one guy called him, I think. And I was like, that's a bad math term, you know, kind of like a rhomboid or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then interesting enough on traps, we ran across a, uh, a, a medical page for like a, uh, like a cosmetic page of a place that was telling women they could Botox their traps to make them smaller. Really? Um, yeah. Is that how that Not works? joking. I know. So it was like an advertisement that said, you know, you don't want to have a, 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 a to go on a date with, you know, these trap muscles. And it had a picture of like a woman Botoxing her traps. I suppose Botox, like, you can literally just paralyze them so they can't get bigger, right? 
I, I, I mean, guess that, that was that the idea. Work? It's kind of weird. I'm not a medical person, but you know, paralyzing like a stabilizer muscle does not sound like <laughs> yeah. a good idea. It me. seems like a terrible idea, but yeah. yeah but no do you do you really want to go on a date yeah. with where a, a man might see that you have traps? Yeah, I yeah. mean, it's well <laughs> worth it. Like for like, going on a date like, with was, pants on. <laughs> and you know, I'm not. I mean, cosmetic surgery is fine. You know, people can do whatever they want with their right. bodies. It was just a real shamey like, yeah. ooh, you have traps. Let us get rid of them before you go on a date. Yeah, it's insane. Yeah, crazy. Yes. Okay, so your last topic, and this is we always save the the most important for last. Good. Um, <laughs> and I guess we didn't tell you like there's a, a scoring system that goes into this game. We rate how you perform. Yeah, uh, sure it's really arbitrary. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> there's a well, don't uh, get ahead, don't get ahead yeah. of us now. <laughs> There's we a, set the rules. Right. There's a lot there's a lot of JD Power and Associates Awards at stake here. Yeah, there it is. Um, yeah, sure. So and there's also a cool beans scale. Like if you can oh, yeah. get a max of two cool beans. Um, right. but most of it comes back down to the last one. And you are from Indiana, correct? I am. Okay. So overrated yeah. or underrated parks and rec? Parks and rec. Oh man. Oh, that's the hard one. I'm gonna go. <clears throat> I'm going to go with overrated and people are going to throw stuff at me. I like that show. It's a funny show. It's got funny parts to it. It's certainly got funny characters. Never quite struck me as much as some of the other ones. So Mm -hmm. I think I'm supposed to, supposed to care about it more than I do. (laughs) Never never quite hit me as much as the other ones. I'm more of an office type of person. Yeah. 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 So overrated. Yeah, I'm going to have to go with that one as I duck, you know, in my house here yeah. <laughs> for the yeah. booing and whatnot. So, yeah. Well, good news. You did pass then. you. Uh, oh, thank God. I don't know if you, wow. you don't know if you won the game. You passed the game, though. All like right. we, did, we made it to the end. So that, that's a victory. <laughs> I'm really into doing the bare minimum. So that's good. That's yeah, yeah, that's yeah. good. All right. Well, that's uh, mostly what we wanted to cover. I think, is there anything, uh, you know, your website, anything else to, for you to get out there or sponsors or any of that stuff as, as far you as know, your strong You know, nobody man. wants to sponsor, you know, negative trash, so I don't really have any sponsors. <laughs> it's, not, it's all good. No, it's, um, I appreciate, um, you know, having me on the show and people um, being able to kind of talk about the page with people and stuff is kind of how you get the word out. So um, I've got um, a couple of things that are upcoming. People always ask me, you know, for what kind of the purpose of the page is afterwards. So um, kind of telling people to sort of, you know, pay attention to the page for super um, kind of interesting things that are coming up with uh, facing some of this online harassment and abuse and, and kind of different directions that we're going. Got a lot of things in plan for, for 2021, depending on how COVID messes with everything at this point. But I do appreciate being uh, on the show and kind of being able to tell a little bit about my story. Yeah, awesome. We we loved having you on. This is a great and, one. And just a uh, little trivia for you: you have the title of being the first woman to have to be completely featured. Yes, on our call-in. Yeah, by myself. That's by that, yourself. What does that say about you guys? Well, you know we're, we're, it says we're getting better. Yeah. Yeah. It says we're improving. Yeah, <laughs> we're trying. Yeah, yeah. It says we're. Wow, very good. It says That's we're doing better be than we were laser. before. Yep, yep. <laughs> That's good to know. Well, I appreciate that. And now you should see that we're not scary. You know, you can have more of us. We're okay. Oh, we, of, we got it. We got, of. we got some yeah. in the pipeline. Yeah, yeah then we do. And yeah, maybe we'll do, but break like three in a row, three or four in a row. Out wow. Here just yeah. Really... Don't go crazy. Okay, <laughs> yeah. do, do the That's right. Better, ease in. We better stay right. in our lane to a certain degree. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Don't go completely crazy. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> We're just more comfortable with wieners. <laughs> I, you know, I've had a lot of guys. There's a group that I'm in actually on Facebook. It's like a tag group, but it says to straight men even like women. You know, it's like, it's, that's the name of yeah. the group. And it's like all these posts where it's like, do these guys even like women? Like, I don't even know anymore at this point. And I kind of feel that way. I'm like, you've never had a woman on your show. Do you guys like women? I don't right, know what's right. going on. So maybe. Well, in our defense, we've only had guests for a few not yeah, as, as long as we've done the show, guests are a recent re- right. revelation. Right. Well, right. That's good. Kind of, kind of. That's just you know, blessed. You know, yeah, blessed. Th- this is the two hundred two hundred and forty <laughs> second episode, but uh, wow. actually, though, no, Tommy, if um, our, the show has revamped at certain, uh, per, we've changed at certain points in time. But if you go back to Tyler, oh yeah, uh, Tyler did like, have in yeah. maybe like episode forty. He had. Are you familiar? It was a group out of Canada, and it was called. Girl. This this is female powerlifting oh, yeah, yeah, T I F P L and okay. they they really disbanded 
But it yeah. was like in 2017, they had a pretty popular... Yeah, Tyler uh, went yeah. to Canada that to interview familiar. them. Yeah, yeah. So so actually, that, but that was probably in like 2017. So, probably, yeah. Yeah, but that, that's been a long time ago. And, and, yeah, and, yeah. Then, and then we quit doing interviews for about right. 200 episodes. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah, that's true. You guys had a lot to say to each other. That's, that's well, horrible. That's good well, stuff. I wouldn't say we had a lot to say, but we talked about a lot. Yeah, yeah. You, you said things. Yeah, yeah, we didn't have anything important to say. Yeah, no. yeah. <laughs> Words were said. Yeah, Very good. Right. Well, but we do we do appreciate having you uh, on, sure. and we'll continue to follow everything you got going on. And now that we know better, we'll follow more on your uh, personal there page and go. stuff too. So that's cool. <laughs> Thank you so much for having me. All right, cool. Thanks, we'll Jessica. talk to you later. All right. Bye-bye. Thanks, Jessica. Yeah. So that was cool beans. Yeah. Wasn't yeah. it? Oh, or whoa, 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 whoa. Cool, cool beans. Beans. Cool beans. Cool beans. There we go. There now we go. it's official. Yeah, so she can have two cool beans. Yeah, two cool beans. Yeah. That was cool. She knows her stuff. She does. She does. And she's got a lot going on between... She, how, she does have a lot going it'd on. It'd be like if if uh, Half Thor was running a really cool, interesting page <laughs> outside of being like... Outside of his know. personal stuff. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah that's, a, that's a lot to do. Yeah. On top of being a top-level competitor. Right. So we do have more women in the pipeline too. Like we, we're mm-hmm. kind of joking about that stuff there, but we do have a few uh, a few more in the pipeline. We have to we have this ever growing pipeline of people that we need to get on the show. Yeah. So we have a growing pipeline. Yeah, we do. It's a wide pipeline. <laughs> it's not an oil pipeline, no. but it's a pipeline. Yeah, just a pipeline. Yeah, massonomics pipeline. <laughs> yes. So should we talk about our stuff now? That yeah, we're, that we're getting down there. Yeah. I, okay. We really said we had a lot of stuff, and we, we really do. did this we episode. Do. And we're still like just got to keep moving along yeah. because we're hour so and twenty five minutes in, and we're still not. Uh, this week is Black Friday, so we have and, a big drop. And Black Friday is always a big weekend for Massonomics. Yep, yep. And uh, we're hoping that this year is no exception. I'm hoping you it's know our with biggest everything week. going on. That's the ca- ca- caveat, though, is yeah. with everything going on. But we're hoping that everyone still pulls through. And uh, I, I know we can tell you we pulled through because um, we're not going to tell you guys exactly what we have. But how many new T-shirts? Do we have three? Do we have three brand new T-shirt designs? Like never, Or is it four? Well, I think it's three T-shirts. Three, three brand new, never before released yeah. T-shirt designs. Yes. We got some sweatshirts. We have that have some loved some some recently loved designs coming out right and uh, something that's got a zipper on it in the sweatshirt variety <laughs> so too. Which we have we a haven't piece of clothing before. that has a zipper on it yeah. and it's not pants. So. Right, uh, but we also do have pants coming. I I believe. Oh, and like yeah, a, a potential. Yeah, yeah, some bottoms to yeah. cover your lower half. Right, and uh, we have a a very fun collaboration item that we've. Right. never we've never this done is way new yeah way new way cool too cool. yeah very something very limited too yeah we're really excited about it it's, yeah. and it's a it's a really cool item and you're not guessing what it is yeah you like, won't, you won't yeah. guess what it is so there's a really cool collaboration it's very item. limited though and i think that they are going to sell out i think that they're going to sell out like in that weekend i think i don't know i'm hopeful that that's possible uh it's really cool i think you should buy it and you're going to kick yourself if you don't because it is a limited thing and you're going to be like, yeah. I wish I would have got that. And it's just, it's a fun yeah. product. Right, it's, right. And it's not apparel. We will it's say not it's apparel. not apparel. Right. So we're, we're very excited about this one. It looks, it actually shows up at our doorstep hopefully tomorrow. <laughs> hopefully. Um, so I'm excited to see it and mm-hmm. and have us get yeah, that so, ready so to that's ship a, out. That is everything. a limited edition, very cool item. Um, it's actually multiple items too. It's right. not just one single thing. Yeah. It's like a little it's a kit. kit. So it's a kit. Um, we're we're yeah we're jacked for that one. Whatever you're thinking it is right now, I think you're wrong. Yeah, you're definitely wrong. Yeah, uh, we got new stickers, new stickers, new koozies, new koozies. Yeah, we just God, we got a lot of stuff, and we I, we're probably missing a couple things too. We are probably. We actually had so many things for a Black Friday. We had to actually hold a few items back. Yeah, um, we, that's true. That's just, that's just actually, so, just so you're not joking. But you're actually not joking. Yeah, I should I, say I, that I'm dead serious. That's we, something we, we would definitely like, say to, as a joke. Yeah. <laughs> but, like, <laughs> yeah, you're right. uh, we actually did have so many that were like, well, this sort of starts to uh, like nobody can buy all this. Yeah, stuff. it starts to like it just become it overwhelming diluted, that it's too many yeah. things. Yeah, it dilutes itself. So we actually are holding some things off for our. Uh, um, our first 2021. 2021 release, right? But uh, yeah, the Black Friday release is is looking. I would top say notch. one of the shirts, new shirts that we're going to release. I don't know if I told you this. I think it is now my favorite 
shirt, at least yep. as of right now. Like it's, I don't know. I'm not p- confident yet. It'll be our Best biggest seller. selling shirt ever, but, but just a, personally, it is cool. like, like my, it's a little different yeah, than different, some of the other different stuff we've had. Different done, different colors, and it's just, different design. I just, I love it. Would you say, I, would you say it almost kind of even pops a little bit? Yeah. You know, pop. That what, sign pops. That's not, yeah. This shirt is a little it, it subtle. It is more like subtle. You are right. Subtly more classic. Yeah. Uh, like it pops in the sense that, yeah, it's if you're just saying it's cool, but I don't <laughs> think it pops like some of our shirts yeah. pop. This one really is just like cool. Yeah. Like, like jazz. Cool. Like it's a, yeah. Yes. You know? Yes. I know exactly what you're <laughs> yeah. saying. Tanner. Yeah. I haven't seen it in person yet, so right. I kind of have to take your word for it, right. but I do know what you're saying. Yeah. That's what I would say about that. So, moral of the story, be on the lookout. Black Friday, get on that stuff. Um, our shipping department will be working overtime to get all of those orders cranked out. Got, got to do it fast because I'm moving out of my house like in towards the beginning <laughs> yeah, of December. So, the, I, the I'm going to sell a whole bunch of stuff that like there's that much left that I actually have to physically move to it. Uh, uh, a second location. undisclosed location at this point in time, <laughs> yeah. you know. So, uh-huh. yeah, because I, 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 my house has been sold. I don't yet have a house to move into, <laughs> yeah. but that, that Tanner's D-day homeless, is, I guess is what yeah, we're trying to say. Yeah. That D day is coming, um, where, where I do have to move. So the more mass dynamic stuff we can sell before, uh, the beginning of December, the better. So, uh, make sure to just buy stuff just for Tanner's sake. Yes. Right. Don't even have to buy it for your own sake. So buy like, it for Tanner, like to maybe move those things around, maybe like a few less times. It'd always be nice. We have a lot of stuff. <laughs> well, like, the store does have a lot of items, and all the items have a lot of sizes. Yeah. <laughs> Some of the items have a lot of sizes and a lot of colors. Um, we are starting to get you would if you didn't know better, you'd think this is a legitimate, uh, <laughs> legitimate operation with the amount of stuff that we have at this point. Uh, yeah, we probably downplay it more than what we should at times. Yeah, but. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where some days I'm like, man, and we have more coming. <laughs> but wait, yeah. there's more. Yeah. So I'm gonna be needing one of those houses soon in order to. Uh, does make life a little simpler. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, so that's what we've got coming. Yeah. Is that most of what we got? We, we did the so. Lift Hard, Live Easy winners. Yep, yep. Um, um, definitely have more topics to talk about, but there's always next week for that. I, I had said that uh, we needed to take a picture of with this to post to Instagram. Oh, yeah. But is it possible if we just hold the these items right up right now that we'll be able to take a, a screenshot of this uh, later or do you want to do an actual picture we can do a picture too okay we can do both okay you can hold them up if you want okay well just in case the picture maybe you hold those and i'll hold the uh uh the bar we got to be careful not to move too far forward or we'll be out of focus here tanner oh, so right right so we got the goods the goods are right there there we go there's the goods so that would Boom, be a picture baby. right now oh <laughs> I think it was voice activated. I think yeah, it took the picture I, for did us. Did it there. go click? <laughs> yeah. I think I heard it. Um, we better talk about today's sponsor. I don't know, Tanner. These, are, these $25 gift cards are in my hands and they feel like they're stuck. Well, I feel and like this, I'm supposed to have them. <laughs> and this Texas power <laughs> bar that I'm holding out uh, straight like that, that's going to mess up the focus. No, no. It's locked oh, in. Oh, yeah. That's it's right. Locked yeah, in. It's not it doesn't auto-ing. move. It okay. doesn't move. I'm still learning about the new <laughs> setup. All this technology. Yes. Today's show was brought to you by Lifting Large. We talked about their big uh, Black Friday sales that they've got going on. The entire website is on sale at up to 60% off. This includes custom squat suits, bench shirts, and belts from Titan. Order over $100 can get free Lifting Large drawstring bag and orders over $150 get a free Lifting Large t-shirt. Today's episode is also brought to you by Spud Inc. The goal of Spud Inc. Straps is to make products that support sports performance and help everyone achieve their training goals. They make products that last forever, won't bust your budget, and most importantly, leave no doubt about success when everything is on the line. Check them out online at spud-ink-straps.com. This episode is also brought to you by Hybrid Performance Method. They're your one-stop shop for all things fitness and online coaching. Whether your goals are training-related, nutrition, body composition-related, or both, Hybrid has a program for you. With dedicated and experienced coaches in each strength and fitness discipline, you can rest assured that you're in the best hands possible. We've got a discount code with Hybrid Performance Method. It's MASS, M-A-S-S, in all caps, and that saves you 5% off any training or nutrition memberships for the life of the membership at hybridperformancemethod.com. And today's episode is brought to you by Texas Power Bars. In 1980, Buddy Cap set out on his own to make what he believed was the greatest bar he had ever seen and trained with, 
and the Texas Power Bar was born. It was strong as a house with the best knurling, and it was maintenance-free. Hundreds of state, national, international, world, and mass economics powerlifting records have been and continue to be set and broken on the Texas Power Bar. Visit them at texaspowerbars.com. Is that everything finally? I think one? that's everything. Okay. Uh, subscribe on YouTube. Like us on Facebook. Leave us a five-star podcast review. We couldn't read any today because there's just way too much good stuff to talk mm-hmm. about. We'll get back to those maybe next time. Uh, sign up to be a supporting member of the podcast if you haven't already. Um, I was thinking maybe we should like give give away a, one of the lift ugly sweaters to one of the supporting Ooh, members or something should. like that. Yeah, I maybe like we do that. one of that. Do do that. Yep. Yep. Maybe one or two. So get signed up and we could do that next episode. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. So we'll give away like a couple of those randomly to supporting members. So you would want to get signed up before next episode mm-hmm. and get on we'll, we'll pick a couple supporting members that will give Your odds are better than yeah. one in a million. Right. Not much. No, but they I are mean better the supporting members keep rolling in, but that's the lift ugly Christmas sweater, which we do have still available. It's limited. And I think come black Friday, we're going to sell a whole bunch of those mm-hmm. and we probably won't have many left. And I don't know that that's something we rerun again. So you better get it. <laughs> probably will not rerun those this summer. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. Um, but if you do want to become a supporting member, massonomics.com slash join right there, you can, so that's so easy it's, it's so easy. easy a caveman could do it we should come out with a marketing plan where we say that about uh, things so easy a caveman could, could do someone it someone could pay us a lot of money yeah, that yeah. um and tommy where do they find you on instagram you can find me at tomahawk underscore d you can uh follow me at tanner underscore baird nobody cares about that follow massonomics at massonomics <laughs> <laughs>